Mike in Roseville, Minnesota writes, I replaced my rather inexpensive AB integrated amp with a far more expensive Class D, a NAD M10. And despite the great reviews for the Class D NAD, my wonderful speakers, the Focal Electras, those are good speakers, very revealing, produced a thin and anemic sound. So after spending a few months fiddling with the treble, the bass, the balance, Dirac, all that, I gave up. I was unable to convince myself that the Class D amp was superior. I bought a new AB amp, and the wonderful sound of my speakers has returned. Was my experience an example of a mismatch between amp and speaker, or is Class D inferior? Well, Class D is not inferior. It is something though that is difficult at best to get right. So for example, in our stellar series of amplifiers, we have Class D amps inside of those. We have a 1200 watt, a 700 watt, and I think a 300 watt. And they all use Class D technology and they all sound terrific. Why? Well, a couple of reasons, but the main reason is that Class D absolutely has a sound to it. And in order to make a synergistic package, that's the key here, which I think you're alluding to, that synergistic package, you have to tune the input stage, add an input stage, and a lot of companies don't do that. And I don't know anything about the NAD. I mean, I know them as a great company, but I don't know anything about that particular model. Some companies take an off-the-shelf module like from ICE or from Texas Instruments. And those are ready to go. You plug an audio signal into it, bing, bada, boom, you got an amp. Put a chassis around it, power supply, you're good. Done. We just don't think it sounds very good. So what we do is we develop a synergistic input stage. And in our 1200-watt amplifier, our monoblocks, the M1200s, we use a vacuum tube. And that vacuum tube has a sound to it that together with the output Class D amplifier makes this lush, glorious sound that would have sounded terrific on your Focals. And Focals are, they're a little on the bright side to begin with. So you really have to get your synergies correct when you're using speakers like that. Very revealing, good speakers, we used them in a show but they, they, they are definitely a little on the thin side to begin with. Then on, say, our 700s, we can't really afford to put a vacuum tube stage on, so we use a FET stage, a field effect transistor stage. And field effect transistors have a softness to them, if designed properly, that sounds luscious and lovely. But the point being, designing a Class D amplifier is a bit of a challenge. Done properly, it sounds great. And there you have it. Okay, thanks for writing. I'll talk to you later.